Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 5th of September. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you the major themes to look out for. Please stay with me. I will then go through each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces in forensic detail. This week on Monday, Venus, the planet of relating, arrives in the sign of Virgo, where the sun is located. Now, of course, Virgo is very much about discrimination and organisation, and Venus technically is not at its best in this sign, known as being in full. Perhaps the reason for this is maybe the precision of the sign of Virgo can make Venus a little bit more inclined to look out for perfection. And of course, perfection rarely exists in the relationship realm. But what we can do over the time that Venus is in Virgo is try to find practical ways to collaborate and cooperate around relationships of all kinds in a better way. And certainly in terms of the domestic realm, if you do live with someone, whether it's a flatmate with your folks or a romantic partner, a little bit more give and take and sacrifice and thoughtfulness can do wonders for everybody's morale. Now this week also sees Mars and Mercury and Jupiter continuing their sparkling alliance, which was triggered last week. Mars, of course, in the very bubbly and epiphescent sign of Gemini, and Mercury is the ruler of that sign and currently located in the other air sign of Libra, very much to do with relating and listening. And Jupiter in the mix as well brings an exuberance, a positivity, and a go-getting attitude in the sign of Aries, despite the fact that it is in a retrograde. So there is the potential to initiate things this week, but as we get towards the end of the week, Mercury goes into a retrograde, which will last through to October the 2nd. But on the 23rd, it does rewind back into the sign of Virgo. So we've got a very intense period developing for Virgoan energy. But also on Saturday, we have the full moon in the sign of Pisces. This is where the sun and the moon are directly opposite one another, because the sun's very much about how we initiate our drive, our more masculine approach to situations, and the moon's very much more to do with empathy and receptiveness and nurture and security. The two are not quite aligning in a, a, a collaborative way. So one of the things we can all do over the next couple of weeks is not get so caught up on the small picture, Virgo, and getting the details right, that we forget to bring in that more spiritual, psychological, and, and more emotional domains that come from the sign of Pisces. But Uranus is actually playing a, a really supportive role with both positions this time, suggesting to us that fresh ways of thinking about things, new energy can come in. It is the case that Uranus is being challenged more by Saturn again and they're only one degree apart and between the 2nd and the 12th of October that tightens up to nearly, very nearly an exact right angle at 90 degrees. So also important to understand the restriction in Saturn uh, in the sign of Aquarius is the collective so we're all feeling a sense of limitation and a lot of it of course is to do with those raw resources which are costing so much more money to buy and Uranus in the second house Taurus very much bringing shocking developments more challenging uh, uh, environmental uh, uh, situation for us all to deal with a collective restriction around finance. So that's something we're all dealing with, with the headwind of those energies. But that collective in Virgo is just saying that we can achieve a lot if we focus on the details, but we shouldn't focus so much on the details that we forget the big picture or our more emotional needs. Now, please stay with me for each of the 12 zodiac sign forecasts, but if you would like to 
uh, elevate your knowledge of astrology beyond uh, the zodiac signs, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, I can give you a forecast that can guide you all through year 2023, but I'll give you the rest of this year free. Plus, with my 30% off special offer, you'll get your life roadmap, your character analysis, which can guide you for the rest of your existence by helping you to understand some of the patterns that may have been repeating in your situation, perhaps the more challenging ones, but also helping to highlight the opportunities and talents that you have in a much clearer way. Please see the link beneath this video. And finally, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honored if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. So Taurus, your week commencing the 5th of September forecast begins in delightful style when Venus, your ruler, moves into the most demonstrative, affectionate and generous part of your scope, the fifth house. Technically, of course, Virgo uh, is a less receptive home for Venus, but for you personally, this can be a chance for you to really uh, engage much more in social opportunities and interactions. If there are creative talents and flair that you've got that you've not quite been engaging with as much as you could, this is a wonderful time for you to really embrace these as much as your social uh, situation too. Now, of course, Mercury going into a retrograde on the day that we have the full moon, it just does suggest that uh, a need to be aware of the details of your situation beyond the energy that's coming from the sun in Virgo is going to be important. But I think time management may be also something that you need to be conscious of over the next couple of weeks. Perhaps everybody seems to want a piece of you. And of course, with Uranus in that hardcore abrasive right angle with Saturn, also your professional situation may seem a bit raw and escaping into your interests or into your friendships or into doing things that are more pleasurable may be just the tonic you need. But with Mars in your second solar house, in a very robust angle with Mercury earlier this week, if you need to show quite a lot of thrust and determination as well as precision around something that is more worldly and does require you to stay quite grounded, the opportunity is there for that too. Mm -hmm.